today we discuss about reproduction in earthworm so today's topic is reproduction in earthworm in earthworm previously also while studying the reproductive system we have studied that earthworm reproduces sexually they are hermaphrodite that means a single individual possesses both male and female reproductive organ apart from that we have also studied they are protenderous means that the male gamete matures earlier than the female gamete and as they are protenderous cross fertilization takes place in them and before the process of fertilization the process of copulation and cocoon formation takes place in earthworm so today's topic is reproduction reproduction in earthworm now what we have studied the earthworms are hermaphrodite they are hermaphrodite and are also protenderous regarding protenderous we have studied that protenderous means maturity of male gametes earlier than female earlier than female gamete in hermaphrodite organism and is they are protenderous is they are protenderous cross fertilization cross fertilization takes place in earthworm and before fertilization before fertilization copulation and cocoon formation takes place these two are the processes which takes place before the fertilization so earthworms are hermaphrodite they are protenderous and they reproduce sexually a sexual reproduction is absent in them and during the process of sexual reproduction the first process is copulation then the next process is cocoon formation after that there is fertilization and after that there is development now let first begin from the process of copulation the first process is copulation so in earthworm copulation is a process in which exchange of male gamete takes place between the two copulating earthworm or simply we say copulation is a process in which exchange of male gamete takes place between two earthworm and the first thing which we have to know is that the breeding season of earthworm is rainy season look here breeding season breeding season breeding season is rainy season the breeding season is rainy season during the breeding season that means during the rainy season first the earthworm undergo the process of copulation so what is copulation copulation is a process in which exchange of male gamete takes place between two copulating earthworm so copulation is for exchange of male gametes copulation is a process for exchange of male gametes between copulating earthworm the process of exchange of sperm between copu copulating earthworm is called as copulation and during the process of copulation now look here during the process of copulation two earthworms come in contact of each other let imagine this is one earthworm this is another earthworm this is the anterior end of earthworm this is posterior end for this earthworm also this is anterior end this is posterior end the upper side is dorsal surface the lower side is the ventral surface now during this process two earthworms come in contact of each other by their ventral surface and in such a way facing anterior end towards opposite direction look here this is one earthworm anterior end facing towards this side and this is another earthworm anterior end is facing towards this side this is the ventral surface and this is the ventral surface by this way they come in contact of each other and in such a way the male genital pore of one earthworm remain in contact of spermathecal opening of the another earthworm so how the earthworms come in contact of each other during copulation 
two earthworms come in contact of each other by their ventral surface facing anterior in towards the opposite direction in such a way male genital pore of one earthworm remains in contact of spermathecal opening of the another earthworm let me make a diagram let imagine this is one earthworm this is anterior in this is posterior in here is the clitellar region this is the clitellum and here is presence of male genital pore here is presence of the spermathecal pores and now another earthworm this is the another earthworm this is another earthworm and it is its anterior end this is its posterior end here is the clitellum this one is the clitellum and here is its male genital pore and here are the spermathecal pores of the another earthworm now this is the way by which the earth, two earthworms come in contact of each other how they come in contact of each other two earthworms two earthworms come in contact of each other come in contact of each other by ventral surface facing anterior end towards opposite direction and male genital pore male genital pore of one earthworm one earthworm remain in contact of spermathecal opening of another earthworm so this is the first thing which we have to know earthworms undergo copulation during the breeding season which is the rainy season and copulation is a process for exchange of male gamete between two copulating earthworm exchange of male gamete takes place now what happens look here this male genital pore now in this earthworm here is the male genital pore the male genital pore slightly get raised to form the male genital papilla and that papilla is inserted into the spermathecal pore of the another earthworm here also the same thing happen the male genital pore get changed into small outgrowth which are called as male genital papilla and that are inserted this is like this and this is like this okay and exchange of sperm takes place between the copulating earthworm we already know the male genital pore are appear in number ventrally on 18th segment while the spermathecal openings there are four pairs of spermathecal openings each pair on ventrolateral position of intersegmental group lying between 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8 and 8, 9 segments. So, they slightly change their position so that these male genital papilla can be inserted into all spermathecal pores and all spermatheca can receive the sperm. So, remain in contact of each other <coughs> by ventral surface with anterior in towards the opposite direction male genital pore of one earthworm remain in contact of spermathecal opening of the another earthworm and then now male genital pore male genital pore get changed into male genital papilla male genital pore get changed into male genital papilla which are which are inserted into the spermathecal pores and exchange of sperms take place between earthworms and one more thing which i have told you they slightly change their position so that 
द मेल जेनेटल पेपिला कैन बी इंसर्टेड इन टू ऑल स्पर्मिथेकल पोर और ऑल स्पर्मिथेका कैन रिसीव द स्पम दे स्लाइटली चेंज पोजिशन सो मेल जेनाइटल पेपिला कैन बी इंसर्टेड इंसर्टेड इंटू ऑल स्पर्मेथेका एंड ऑल स्पर्मेथेका ऑल स्पर्मेथेका नॉट स्पर्मेथेकल ओपनिंग स्पर्मेथेकल openings so all spermatheca can receive sperm can receive sperm so now look here this is the main process now you have to know few more things regarding the copulation during the process the two earthworms get attached with its copulation through earthworms get attached with each other by the help of the sticky secretion produced by accessory glands which are present on the surface of the genital papilla what helps to attach the two worms during the process of copulation the sticky fluid sticky fluid produced by accessory glands on the surface of on the surface of genital papilla genital papilla attach two worms two worms so what helps to attach the two worms during the process of copulation the sticky fluid which is produced by the accessory glands it helps to attach the two earthworms during the process of copulation and this process lasts for about 1 hour time it takes place during the night in or in, in early morning at the inside the burrows now one more thing which you have to know look here i will write here look here this copulation takes place at night or in early morning generally inside burrows and lasts for about 1 hour it lasts for about 1 hour and after exchange of sperm the worms get separated with each other after exchange of sperms worms means the earthworms get separated so this much we have to know about the copulation so if there is a question like write about the copulation in earthworm then what we have to write the process of copulation takes place during the breeding season and this is the process for exchange of male gamete or sperm between two copulating earthworms during this process two earthworms come in contact of each other by their ventral surface facing anterior in towards the opposite direction in such a way male genital pore of one earthworm remains in contact of spermatheca openings of the another earthworm and the male genital pore slightly get raised to form the male genital papilla and the male genital papilla are inserted into the spermatheca pores and exchange of sperm takes place between the copulating earthworms during this process they slightly change their position so that the male genital papilla can be inserted into all spermatheca openings and all spermatheca can receive the sperm this process lasts for about 1 hour and the two worms get attached with each other by the help of the sticky fluid which is produced by accessory gland which is present on the surface of the genital papilla and after exchange of sperm that means after about 1 hour time the earthworms get separated with each other and one thing which we have to know is that this process generally takes place at night or in early morning and generally takes place inside the burrows so this is about the copulation